Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And uh, this is the second FabFitFun video I am filming for this season. As you can tell, we are doing things a little bit differently this time around. And uh, that is because I managed to get an eye infection. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not fit to be on camera. So I'll spare both of us that, that particular misery. So uh, I thought I would focus in this video on the boosts and the refills. Uh, since I think customization or the add-on store opens tomorrow, Thursday, my time. Uh, and then the full customization is open on Friday for annual members. So hopefully I will film another video like this dedicated to categories one through three. Uh, but I wanted to, I guess, knock out the refills and the boosts uh, before the add-on store opens. So yeah, so we are on the FabFitFun website here. This is their homepage. And if I go over to community and forum, so this is what I am referencing when I am filming my videos. And usually I uh, keep the, the link handy because otherwise it's a little bit difficult to get to. But anyway, so this is the refills and uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this page. Uh, there's really only one item that kind of caught my eye, but uh, hopefully I will still film like a customize with me. It'll probably be another screen capture video like this. Uh, so let me know if you like this style of video anyway. I can always change up how I do uh, future seasons, even when I'm 100% healthy. But uh, yeah, I'm always, always open to changing things up if it's more helpful to you guys that way. Uh, but yeah, uh, refills, these are the new ones they are announcing this season. But most, if not all, of what we've seen in previous seasons should still be available. Uh, so you can add on refills from prior season's announcements. And if you do want to subscribe to any of these, you can always go back and change it later on if you no longer want to receive the item. Uh, but basically these are uh, where you'll pay an additional price to get that box or to get that item added into your box every season uh, until you tell them to stop. So first item is the Luju Bar Lavender Shower Steamers, four pack for $9.90, has a $22 value. And I think they've already had the eucalyptus variety as a refill, so they've just added another scent. So yeah, I'm not going to get these, but if you do enjoy that kind of aromatherapy experience in your shower, uh, these are available to you. These are the Water Drop Micro Drink Vitamin Hydration Cubes in Youth or Flare. So I guess you choose which flavor. And I did film some B-roll that hopefully I'll be able to insert. But uh, I did pick this when it was a choice as just a regular customization option in our boxes. And uh, I did enjoy them. I pretty much drink all of them save I think I have one left. Uh, and that one I'm just saving for... I guess when I have an upside stomach or something because it's a ginger flavor. So anyway, uh, these are a nice way just to add some extra flavor to your water. If you find it difficult to drink a lot of water, uh, they do have vitamins as well, but mostly I just drank for the kind of flavor aspect. And I think in whatever unboxing it was, I did kind of show you how it all works. They're just these little cubes that dissolve into uh, your water. So I liked these, but I don't know. Saving $2 doesn't seem to be that exciting to me. So I don't know. I'll probably skip on those. But if you wanted to just set up the subscription and get them every season, then you could do that. Those are U.S. only. And this is Canada and U.S. only for the shower steamers. So, yeah. Uh, next item, we have the Grown Alchemist Purifying Body Exfoliant for $9.90. And this one, it says it has guarana seed extract, kaolin clay. You get 5.75 ounces. Uh, it does have menthol. So, again, this is just one of those brands that is very heavily... Uh, into essential oils and so 
really not what I'm looking for in a kind of body product, so I'll be skipping on it, but if you wanted to add that. Uh, we also have the Tula Skin Care 24-7 Moisture Intense Ultra Hydrating Day and Night Cream, $18.90 down from $58. And I'm pretty sure I've talked about this in a previous box. Uh, it does have some fragrance down here at the very end. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like to hear my thoughts, I'll try to figure out where I talked about it before. Uh, but if you did enjoy it, uh, that's a pretty good savings of about $40 right there. So, yeah, Tula Moisturizer. And then we have the AG Hair Cloud Air Light Volumizing Mousse, $13.50, down from $28. And a lot of items that we've talked about in previous boxes do sometimes show up in refills. So I guess if they see that people really like something, then they will add it in. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if... Okay, so this one says no shipping restrictions. This one had Canada and U.S. only... This one is also Canada and U.S. only, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that is another hair product you might have tried and enjoyed. Uh, we have the Earth Harbor Aqua Aura Reparative Eye Cream, $10.80 down from 34 And you get half an ounce, which I think is pretty common with uh, eye creams. And again, I've spoke about this in the last video, but... A lot of those type of uh, plant extracts and essential oils that I'm just not really into as far as skincare goes and especially around your eyes like if you have watery eyes or anything like that you want to be really careful uh, with fragrance um, putting it near your eyes so I'm going to be skipping on that uh, we have the nude sticks nude skin hydropeptide lip butter in Clear gloss, six dollars and thirty cents, down from twenty. And this says another spring fave is back. So I'm pretty sure I talked about this before. Uh, it's just a clear gloss has a two percent tripeptide complex. You get about a third of an ounce. Does have some uh, fragrance. Let's see. Yeah, peppermint oil. I'm pretty sure that's probably why I was not into it. I don't love peppermint in my lip products. Uh, it can be a little bit irritating, so I will be skipping on that. Uh, the Daily Concepts Bundle, $11 down from 36 And you get three products meant to be replaced every 90 days. Yeah, that's convenient on a subscription model, isn't it? Uh, Daily Deep Exfoliating Mitt, Daily Stretch Washcloth, Daily Mesh sponge. Uh, so I actually use a like silicone type uh, washcloth thing so uh, I don't use loofahs like this uh, but if that's what you're into uh, you can get those set up on a kind of refill and I think $11 for three items like that if you'll use all three is pretty good depending on I guess what your needs are. I feel like just loofahs alone you can get pretty cheaply, but sometimes you need things on a subscription just to be held accountable. Uh, so this is the one item I was kind of interested in, but I don't think I'll pick it up. So this is the Topicals Slather Body Serum, $10.80 down from $30. Uh, so pretty good deal there. And uh, you get 5 ounces, and it's good for... Bumpy, rough skin, or keratosis pilaris. And yeah, it's an exfoliating body serum. Has retinol, squalene, and AHAs. Has no smell. You see that? Uh, and the only thing that kind of holds me back from this is that I'm a little scared to use retinol body products. I have no doubt that they're effective. It's just that because I can be eczema prone, I have to be kind of cautious and not too aggressive when it comes to exfoliants. So I think I'm going to skip on this for now. Uh, but the thing about refills, like I said, is that hopefully they will show up in subsequent boxes and I can add it at a later date if I want to. So yeah, that one was interesting to me. 
Uh, we have the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, $17.10, down from 93 so quite a savings there if, if you're an Elemis fan. And yeah, this one, again, just has like some fragrance type ingredients here, some Rosa Damascena flower extract as well. So again, just not what I'm looking for. We even have just straight up fragrance up here, but if that doesn't bother you and you like Elemis, then you can get it at a pretty, pretty good price. And then uh, the last item here that's new, we have a surprise hair accessory, $7.20 down from 16 and you just get a surprise hair accessory each season. Uh, let me know if anyone's gotten kind of these random surprise add-ons. I'd be interested to hear, but um, I think I will be passing on that particular one. But if you wanted, <laughs> if you wanted something new every season, uh, you could get that. Okay, so that is it for refills. And if I go up here to the boost, and like I said, it always brings me back down to the comments. Okay, so the way that they are doing this now, and um, I guess the way it's changed, they used to call it, well, they're calling it booster box here, but um, it used to be boost so you would kind of have an extra window at the end of your customization uh, now I think they're calling it FabFitFun Picks and it is a separate uh, tab uh, or included within the add-on store so uh, you can again reference my kind of customize with me video from last season if you'd like to just see kind of how it's laid out um, but yeah I did want to talk about it in advance of customization but uh, and I guess I'll say just as a disclaimer in case I don't get my other videos up in a timely manner, uh, the add-on and customization window is open, I want to say it's open until like Tuesday night, uh, but it's open throughout the weekend. Uh, I'll have the exact dates, but uh, you have some time to go in and change things. So if you're unsure about something, if you just want more time to think about it, it's better to over include things and then take things out later. Uh, because there is a chance that someone else will remove something from their boxes and you can pick it up. Uh, but if they do have a limited quantity of something, then you might you might miss out on something. So anyway, uh, the first item is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Mineral SPF, $14 down from $35, so pretty good price on that one. Uh, you get 1.7 ounces, which is at least a standard moisturizer size. I don't know about sunscreen, but I'm pretty good on sunscreen at the moment. I picked up a couple new ones in the Sephora sale. And um, this one also just has some like citrus ingredients, fragrance. So just some other things that I'm not totally on board with. So I'm going to be skipping on that. Uh, but if you enjoy their sunscreen or their skincare, uh, then you can add that to your box. And these are not recurring, so it's just a one-time purchase, unlike the refills. So that is the sunscreen. A lot of Tula. So we have the Skincare Bright Start Vitamin C Antioxidant Brightening Moisturizer. $19 down from $60. And it has vitamin C, mandarin orange, and transexamic acid. And you get 1.7 ounce. So like I said, that's kind of the standard uh, moisturizer size. And again, just, I don't know, some different citrus ingredients, not surprisingly. So I'm good on this one. But if you, yeah, we have orange peel oil, tangerine, etc. So I'm good. But if you enjoy their skincare, then you can pick that one up. Uh, this one is interesting. So this is the Give by Gwen Stefani Check My Glow Multidimensional Illuminating Talc-Free Highlighter in Home Grown Glow. $14 down from $30, so good price. Uh, the design of this kind of reminds me of those, I think, Physician's Formula highlighters back in the day. Uh, but anyway, the thing about this one and... Let's see if I can pull up Sephora's website. So the thing about this one, and you can see a little bit more about what the packaging looks like. It looks it looks nice. Uh, this homegrown glow is an illuminating peach champagne, and you can see that's like the mid 
um, shade here. I think I would pretty much need Platinum Cowgirl. And then they have a deeper one as well. So I just don't think it's best suited for my skin tone. So I am going to skip on this one. Uh, but if you wanted to try a new highlighter and you have, I guess, more of a medium skin tone, uh, then you can you can try that one out at a fairly good price. Uh, with cosmetic items like this, that's the one I would probably need. Uh, I always kind of factor in, okay, so $30, if I got it 20% off, that would be $26. Uh, and it's even cheaper than that. So I think price-wise, it's good. It's just not, not well suited for my skin tone. Uh, so I'll be passing on that one. Uh, this one, the Hourglass Velvet Story Lip Cream in Pure, $26 down from $36. And I believe this is like a, I think it's like a moussey matte type uh, lip product. And this one is in the shade Pure. So again, knock off 20%, you're at 30 And that's where I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want... If I want it bad enough when it's not that good of a sale. Uh, we just had the Sephora sale, I know, but uh, do they even sell it? Maybe they don't even sell it on Sephora. It's always good to be aware as well. Sometimes brands might be trying to offload older products or products they want to discontinue. Sometimes, I think like with the Amica products, you do see relatively new products in the box, but it's just always good to be aware. Um, okay, so is it this one? Velvet Story Lip Cream. So it's a pretty color. It's definitely one that I would wear. Soft Focus Whipped Texture. like I'm talking myself into it. I don't know. I don't really wear a ton of matte lip products generally. So I think I can pass on that one. Like I said, if I got it 20% off, it would be $4 more than what it is here. So is it really worth me spending 26 now? Maybe not. Uh, next up, we have the Fenty Beauty Pousicle Hydrating Lip Stain in Zesty Bestie, and that will be 20 down from 28 so kind of a similar situation, and I know Fenty, I think they have at least 25% off. Uh, Fenty has decent sales from time to time, um, but if you didn't want to wait for one, uh, the B-roll that I have is from Mai Tai, which is a pink shade. And I believe this uh, Fuchsia Wife um, has been on sale at Ulta in a limited edition packaging. So if you wanted something deeper. Um, but yeah, my type is the one that I swatched. And you can see Zesty Bestie underneath it is definitely going to be much more of an orange coral shade. Um, they call it a coral. So yeah, generally not my preferred shade so I'll be skipping on that but uh, in general it's a it's a nice component um, as hopefully you'll see from the b-roll it has this triangular shape to it which makes it really kind of ergonomic to hold uh, they do have a shade indicator I think on the cap I believe that changes per per component uh, and uh, formula wise it's a very it's like a thin gel, I would say. So you do get a little bit of initial hydration. It doesn't feel like super drying at the outset. Um, I would say once the kind of initial hydration wears away, uh, you're left with a stain. Uh, and at that point, you can probably go over it with a gloss. Like I still have a little bit of the stain on my hand from earlier swatching it. And uh, I have washed my hands at least a couple times since then. So uh, yeah, this is a nice kind of, like they say, poutsicle, like popsicle lip type product for the summer. Uh, so I do like the product. It's just a matter of whether it makes sense to you to buy it at this price uh, in this shade. So that is the 
Fenty Beauty, they say it is an oil and water innovation with squalene. So, yeah, that is Fenty. We get a lot of Fenty in this box. Uh, next up, we have the Fenty Skin Cherry Dub Retexturizing Face and Body Scrub 2-0. Uh, 23 down from 30. And this has a full size of the face scrub, which I am very <laughs> cautious about face scrubs in general. Uh, but then they also have a mini of the body scrub. And the body scrub is a product... I think we're getting in either customization one or two. I can't remember. So if you wanted to have one for travel, uh, you could perhaps pick up this set. Uh, this one, let's see. It looks like it's a sugar scrub is what it's based in. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll be skipping on this. I wouldn't mind trying the body scrub in a like travel size or trial size, but I don't want to try it badly enough uh, to pick this up and I think the add-on price of just the body scrub would be less than the the price of this as well so I'll be skipping on that but if you like Fenty skincare uh, next up we have the Glow Recipe Avocado Fine Line Eye Cream with Retinol $15 down from $42 and again I do have a uh, some b-roll of me showing you this product. It's half an ounce. I probably got this in a subscription box. Uh, it does have some fragrance down here at the end, which again is not ideal. And I picked it up because I don't use retinol regularly underneath my eyes, but uh, I like to sometimes reach for one or like a Bacuchiel product if I feel like I need to do some like gentle exfoliation underneath my eyes. So yeah, niacinamide is also something I'm not, I'm cautious about, let's just say that, uh, because too much of it can be, can be um, detrimental. Uh, this one also has lavender. So yeah, I have this. I don't think I paid, I'm pretty sure I didn't pay full price for it. Uh, and also I found that the, the packaging of this was a little bit, I think, problematic because it's so deep that you really have to stick your finger in there are ways to get the product out and... Especially if you have nails, I don't think it's really kind of an ideal packaging situation. So, I don't know. I mean, at this price, if you want to try it, sure. Uh, but it doesn't have my uh, my full endorsement, I guess. Uh, next up, we have the Way Fine to Medium Hair Treatment Mask. $13 down from $38. So, this is a really, really good price. And I think I might have gotten one of these in a box before. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've included one in an empties anyway. Uh, you get eight fluid ounce and it has their Melrose Place scent, which is like a rose scent. And I think I will probably pick up one, maybe two of these. Uh, I tend to prefer uh, hair masks and deep conditioners over regular conditioner because I do have drier hair and I probably wash it more often than I really should. Uh, so I like having lots of uh, hair masks on hand and I'm kind of starting to reach for my uh, my samples. Uh, I do have a travel size of this that I can show you in b-roll just to get a sense of the texture and all that but yeah I think I will probably pick up some of these hair masks. Uh, next up we have the insert name here 3-in-1 quick change styler $39 down from $97. So interesting assortment of, I guess, attachments here. Uh, so this is the Thermal Round Vegan Bristle Brush, the Clamp Curling Iron, and a Bubble Barrel. I've never tried anything like that, but let me know if you have. Uh, it seems like this kind of thermal brush is this season's waiver. It's, it just seems like a lot of people are talking about them or they're popping up a lot. So I thought about getting something like this, but... I don't know if I'll pick this one up. I already have the, oh, what is it, T3, where it has the interchangeable attachments. So I don't really need this guy, and I don't I don't really know what this does. So 1.25 inches, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I already have that. Uh, so I think I'm more interested in trying either like the Bondi Hair Thermal Brush or the one from Maine, which is Jen Atkins' new brand, and she was the original founder of as well as it happens. Uh, but yeah, I think 
I think I'm more interested in one of those. I'm not quite sure what I think about insert name here as a like hair tool brand. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's pretty affordable. If you wanted to try it out, I'm just not sure that I, I want to add any more hair tools uh, to my collection currently, aside from like the two I mentioned. So, and that's US and Canada only probably because of the, the power cord, I'm guessing. Okay, next up we have the Bando Stemless Acrylic Wine Glass, set of four with glitter infusion, $15 down from $48. So this is 16 ounces each, hand wash only, made out of acrylic. And this to me makes the most sense if you are like entertaining or something where you want kind of matching glasses and uh, you don't necessarily want them to... Um, keep your drink cold for an extended period of time or or keep bugs out that kind of thing uh, that's where I see these being the most useful but for just yourself or yourself and I guess your partner or whatever uh, I think I prefer the swig and four of these probably cost the same as one swig glass but yeah, I would prefer just to get another spray glass. Uh, next up, the Stony Clover Lane Classic Tote in Sapphire or Grape. $110 down from $168. Uh, this doesn't look very grapey to me. I'm assuming that one is the grape shade. Yeah, it looks more like a lilac or lavender. So I'm not really sure why they called it grape. But anyway, uh, let's see. Those are the dimensions. Handle drop. Looks like you get an arm strap with the handles as well. Nylon zip at top, zip interior pocket removable, adjustable shoulder strap, and lined. Uh, so I'm sure these are good quality. They are kind of more expensive tote bags and that kind of thing. But if you wanted to uh, dip your toes into the stony clover arena, then you could pick one of those up. I think I have too many tote bags as it is. Uh, next up, we have the Burberry Sunglasses, $199 down from $268, and these ones look pretty classic. We also have some from Gucci, $299 down from $435, so it's a bargain. Uh, but yeah, I guess when you're spending that kind of money, I would just recommend, I don't know, just finding something that you truly want, as opposed to impulse buying this like one particular style that they put in front of you, especially this, like we were talking about luxury. That's not that big of a savings, I don't think. Uh, so I would maybe wait until you find a good deal, maybe on like a department store or um, like Gilt, one of those kind of flash sale sites. That is what I would do. I don't think I would just, I don't know, go in for one of these unless you happen to really be hunting down that style anyway. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be passing on both of those sunglasses, uh, but they do have, it looks like the dimensions. Oh, and they even have the product page there, so you can actually, I guess, see what they look like. Uh, and these are U.S. only. Okay, uh, next up we have a swimsuit, um, and you get, what is it? four, five, seven different sizes, $99 down from $168. I'm guessing it's, I think, ribbed as well. Yeah, rib. So it's probably a little bit adaptable when it comes to sizing, but I still, I don't think I would chance $100 on something that might not fit. So that would be a pass uh, for me. But if you just happen to be after a swimsuit like this, uh, then I guess you can take the chance on it. But yeah, I will be passing on that. Like I said, I don't really go through swimsuits that quickly because I don't, don't wear them that often. Okay. Uh, the Jonathan Adler ice bucket, $39 down from 75. So this matches the, uh, the shaker that we have in customization one or two. I can't recall, but this one seven by seven by eight hand wash recommended. Yeah, it's a nice bucket. So uh, if you wanted an add-on to go with your cocktail shaker, uh, then that is an option for you, but I'll probably be passing on both. 
Next up, we have the Swell 24 ounce and 10 ounce nesting bowl bundle for $26 down from 40. And this one, yeah, so we get in customization six, the 16 ounce. So it's kind of the, the middle guy between these two. Uh, so I kind of feel obliged to get these, even though I don't know how I'll use them in the near future, but I kind of feel obliged to get them now. But anyway, uh, these are top rack dishwasher safe, refrigerator and freezer friendly, made from 18 slash 8 food grade stainless steel. Uh, and I guess they are nesting, so at least that will take up less storage space, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably pick these up, I'm thinking. Uh, next up we have the Fun Boy Blue Soul Double Shades Luxury Pool Float for $60, down from $119. Uh, so these do look very, very nice to recline upon. Uh, those are the, uh, the dimensions there, and these are U.S. and Canada only. It says there's cup holders in there somewhere. Can't really see from this angle. Uh, and they also have it in the sun-kissed shade. I think I prefer the blue one. But uh, yeah, two different options for you if you have a pool and like to hang out on them this summer. And then finally, I think this is the last one. Yeah, uh, the Jonathan Adler set of two ribbed glasses for 21 down from 35. And uh, they look to be very similar to some others that we got in a previous box. I think we're blue or green, if I recall. And uh, these ones, they're 13 ounce, 3.55 by 3.55 by 3.88. Uh, dishwasher safe, but hand wash recommended, not microwave or freezer safe, and they're made out of soda lime glass. So I really like the color, but I don't, I don't need them. So I'll probably be passing on them, but if you already have the other ones, uh, and you'd like to add some to your collection, then those would make a nice addition. So anyway, uh, that is it for the boosts and refills. And um, hopefully, like I said, I'll be back soon with more FabFitFun content. Um, you can probably hear in my voice that I'm just still a little bit under the weather, uh, feeling much better than I did a day or two ago. Uh, but still still not 100% here. So. so anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.